Alright, so I've heard that there's a new shop in the shopping area, and that looks like it over there, um, that Mine and Deadly have added. There hasn't been a new shop addition for quite a while in the shopping area, it's a little bit, a little bit sad, <laughs> a little bit empty out this way. Um, but uh, yeah, we've obviously got our bread shop and our redstone shop, which probably need to be restocked, which uh, reminds me. But uh, yeah, this is the latest shop, this is from Mine and Deadly Dirt Block, and it's like a kind of tavern looking build, it's really cool, I like this like detail, um, like this contrast between the nice like grass here, and this sort of worn out path here, what's it called, the deadly mine, nice, open 24-7, perfect, now, I know that deadly and mine have made a uh, hostile mob farm, which is like super efficient and really good, um, hopefully, I think mine should have shown it off in his video, hopefully soon, so, um, yeah, go check that out, if you haven't seen it already, so, let's have a look. Okay, so there's some colored walls, 16 blocks for 3 diamonds. I feel like that's, that's probably probably reasonable. Bones, 8 stacks for 1 diamond. Now, that's huge. That's huge. So, originally, I had uh, bone meal for sale, and I was just, like, AFKing for it. But their, their thing is so... Um, their mob farm is so efficient that they get just tons of materials. So, that's really good. 24 TNT blocks for 1 diamond. That is a steal. And they're already already crafted as well. That's awesome. And then gunpowder, three stacks for one diamond, three stacks for one diamond. And these are just full. That's awesome. We're going to have to buy in here. Staff only? Okay, I guess I won't go in there. No, nah, I'll go in there. What's in here? Is this... Have they just got, like, extra... Oh, just a bed up here. What's this chest? Just some random stuff. Alright, but I brought 64 diamonds because I do want actually want to spend some money here. I think uh, I do have... I mean, I do have a lot of sand, so I might buy from uh, from a couple of these shops, um, or a couple of these stalls, I guess. I'm going to definitely need some TNT for a project at some point. So, yeah, let's grab a couple. So, what is it? 24 for one diamond block. So, let's let's grab some. That's four there. Zerp. What's that? A stack and a bit. So let's uh, let's grab another four as well. Let's 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 go baller. I reckon. So that's three stacks of TNT for eight diamonds. That's not bad. I'll take that. I'll take that. And because we can craft our own, we might as well grab some uh, some gunpowder as well. So three stacks for one diamond. So one two three, one two three. So we can just put that in there. And look at that. We've got another six stacks of uh, of gunpowder. That's another stack of TNT. Now I haven't really worked out if that's a good deal or not. But I don't really care enough. I don't think I'll buy any of this wool. I don't really need any wool. And this chest is empty. But uh, yeah, I definitely want to support the, the new shops coming out. And uh, definitely makes me want to uh, <laughs> restock my shops as well. I'll have to actually check the, uh, the stock on those. But yeah, very cool new shop in the shopping area. I guess while we're here, we should check out our stores. So this is the Box Bakery, if, uh, if you haven't seen it before. I made this quite a while ago. I doubt there's much in here. Anything that's been sold, I, uh, I've, I've taken the, uh, the things for it. One diamond for nine stacks. Nice. Uh, bread, I keep coming... I come here and steal all the bread. Honestly, I think I'm probably the biggest, uh, biggest customer in the store. I just steal all my own stuff. But I don't think anyone's really coming here to buy anything, which is fair enough. I don't know if I'll restock this shop. It's not really... Not really worth it, I don't think. Um, probably this redstone shop might be worth it. The problem in beta is I feel like there's not that high demand for shops. Like, it's hard to make a shop that is in high demand um, because resources aren't that hard to get and, you know, even craftable things, they're not hard to get. You don't need them in large quantities. Like, they'd only be sold sort of, you know, once or twice. Um, but it might be worth. Let's, let's check the stock. There's still a lot of redstone here. A lot of redstone torches gone. Repeaters. There's no rails. I think Captain Cat bought all these rails like so early on. <laughs> and then dispensers. They're just annoying to craft. Plenty of that stuff left. And then I think these pistons are all gone. Um, long ago. Long ago. So yeah, I might restock it just because, you know, why not? Maybe someone will need it. Who knows? Um, but I'll, I'll probably just do that off camera. I think this, I could probably add some slime balls in here. I've got quite a lot of slime balls. So yeah, and I think these prices probably still hold up. One diamond for two stacks. Yeah, I think that's fine. One diamond for 16. Diamond for 64. Diamond for 64. That doesn't really make much sense because this is way more expensive than this. Oh, one diamond for 16. Okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> uh, one diamond for 16. That's fair, I think. 32 of any kind. That's fine. Yeah. I think these pistons, these could be upped. Uh, like, you know, one diamond for 16 maybe. But uh, yeah, I'll work that out later.
You know, being back in the shopping district, I've actually had an idea for another shop that, that I could build there, but I'll save that for later. Um, for now, I want to show you guys the work that I've been up to between episodes. I've actually, as you can see, done a whole lot. Um, in the last episode, I built these four trees here um, and, you know, detailed them up and showed you, like, the process of how I went about building them. And yeah, as you can see, I've added another four here. Um, now I had Whammy and Ryan sort of tell me these trees were a little bit sort of stagnant and kind of a bit unrealistic in that they were very like straight and didn't really uh, didn't really have any weight to them, except for this one, this one wasn't too bad. Um, so I tried to add a bit more weight to these ones and I think I kind of went, I turned up the dial maybe a little too much, but um, yeah, you guys tell me what you think. Um, I really like them, I'm really happy with them. I'm not going to go back and change these ones, I think I, I like that they've all got their own um, separate kind of character um, to them, but I'll take you through them one by one. I've also finally added um, a bit of a change to these uh, to these pods here um, that have been sitting here for ages. I ended up making them sort of like till dirt with the with the flowers on top and then uh, just some some bushes in the middle. I think that looks kind of nice. Adds a bit of color, um, something a bit different. Uh, now I'll take you through what I've done here. This is um, one of the trees here, and I also added this sort of chair swing, which Doc suggested to me. These are some glitch piston heads. Um, I did actually get asked because I, I posted this uh, a photo of this tree on. Uh, on my community tab and on Reddit, and I got asked sort of how um, how you make these piston heads, and I'll show you after I take you through um, the detailing what I've done, and I'll show you how how, how I did that. Um, I also added these path blocks in here. Um, there's a whole bunch of hidden sort of water sources so that they stay hydrated, and then of course fences underneath the paths, and that kind of makes a nice little pathway um, where it's been a bit worn, and you know it sort of leads to the swing. Um, this is probably one of my favorite sort of things to look at here. Um, I've tr I've been trying to work very hard on like detailing. Uh, this is like I, I've said in the last episode. This is very out of my comfort zone. I've never really built custom trees or done this level of detailing before. So I'm uh, I'm trying I'm trying my best. <laughs> I'm trying my best. Um, added some boulders, um, some mushrooms. Now these mushrooms, um, obviously they they're gonna grow. Um, but we've got some invisible stairs here so that they uh, they don't grow across to them, um, which is which is cool. Uh, we've also got this other pathway here, so this is kind of like, um, I don't know, a bit of a bit of a cut through, um, maybe to the village. Um, maybe I'll make it so that there's like a bit more of a path out to the village here eventually. Um, yeah, which I quite like. Uh, and then over this side we have a little fire pit. Um, a forever fire pit next to this tree, which is also one of my favorite trees. I really like this little random droopy guy, and I like when it's pressed against the wall like that, like it's kind of grown into the wall. I think I should add some some mossy cobblestone to make it so like the leaves or the moss is kind of grown into the walls, but um, I'll get to that eventually. But yeah, we've got this little fire pit fire pit here, and I think I think this area looks really good from uh, from all angles. That was something that was quite important to me because I feel like. Um, you know, you're going to be able to view it from a lot of angles, so yeah, this part here, I really like this view, um, sort of right here. Now this other side, I didn't have as much I wanted to sort of detail it with, I just added some kind of generic, um, sort of boulders and made sure I added the mushrooms and things like that, but it wasn't as, um, intricate as this one where I had the fire pit, the, uh, the pathway, and then the pathway to the, to the, uh, swing. Um, I just added some sort of generic stuff, like some bushes, and um, I, I guess over here I've got like a little little pathway to a to a bench here. Now these are doors, half doors, which um, I used update, update suppression to get these. Um, I might come out with a tutorial on how to do that. Deadly Dirt Block has one. Uh, he posted on our um, back to beta discord, um, which I think you should check out. That was a deadly dirt block special <laughs> showing that off. Of course, only he would know how to bring that to the community. Um, and yeah, some more boulders and things like that. And, uh, yeah, I like this one. It looks, looks, you know, it's a bit more simple. There's not much going on. Um, but I like it. I also wanted to add like a bit of a, a random like mud patch kind of there. Um, but yeah, I like the detail in this area. So yeah, I hope you guys like the detail I've put in this area. Um, it took me a long time. <laughs> it's taken me at least like the whole week to kind of get to this stage. And uh, yeah, it's definitely a bit intimidating for me, but I, I have a lot more confidence now working with this, uh, with this level of detail. But yeah, I'm keen to see what you guys think. 
Uh, this is a phantom arrow, by the way, I thought I'd point out. Um, some skeleton shot it at me when I did was, like, literally first making this path, and it's been here ever since. This is, like, one of the first, like, extra details I made, and it's been here ever since. So I guess it's just because it's on, like, the tilled dirt. Um, if I remove that, it'd probably remove, but we'll see how long it sticks around. Um, but yeah, I think I will show you guys how to make these, uh, these upside-down pistons now. Um, it's not too difficult, actually. Um... The thing you have to do is basically put it on um, a block like that you want. So let's say this is the block that we want to have the, the piston hanging off so that the arm is going to be in this space here. Um, so we'll put a sticky piston there and then a regular um, piston there. And then we'll go out there, put a lever there. So that's going to look like that. And then off the side of this, we can... Uh, build off like that. Um, we'll put a lever there with some redstone dust on top and we'll flick that lever so it's powered and then we'll put some uh, dirt up there, dirt over there and then that should be ready to go. All we need to do is put a lever here and then you turn this on and off using left and right click instantaneously like that and then it'll uh, create this little added piston and then you can basically just remove everything around it now I just used dirt as an example there, you can replace that dirt with anything you want, so um, yeah, that dirt, that dirt could be anything you want, um, as you can see there I've got fences, there's a little bit of Z fighting there but it's fine, um, but yeah, this could be like a diamond block, could be, could be anything, um, but yeah, basically you just have to be careful because any, any update to this piston head will get rid of it, so if I break this block, if I, if I place a block next to it, um, it'll disappear but yeah that's basically all you need to do to uh, to get those upside down uh, piston heads and there are ways to actually get those piston heads facing up and to the side and things um, on any block you want um, I did make a tutorial on how to kind of generally do it but it's there's been some uh, further development since then that I've learned um, so maybe I'll have to make an updated tutorial but who knows Alright, but that is going to be all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you guys like these new additions. Um, unfortunately, I mean, these trees did take me a long time, but unfortunately I wasn't able to play um, a whole lot that I normally would be able to this week, um, just because real life kicking me in the ass. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys still enjoy um, even these shorter videos. Um, and yeah, the, the little bits of progress that I've been making. And uh, yeah, hopefully hopefully soon we'll be starting to make some, uh, some big gain progress in this area. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure to like and subscribe. Laters!